not not for me. I mean, the first period I thought we did a little too much watching. Um, after the first period, I, th I thought we played hard. You know. How heartbreaking is it to have a, a game decided a little bit by by a fluky goal? Yeah, that's the part that stings a little bit. That's a tough one. You know, um, Vladdy made a lot of great saves tonight, and uh, you know sometimes. When a team is rolling the way they are, you're going to get bounces like that, and you know, unfortunately, that one went against us tonight. But it, that that kind of makes the the loss a little sting a little bit more for sure. Kind of hurt for Dan on a in a case like that, don't you? Like he he makes a ton of saves for you, and then yeah. that's the one that kind of decides it. Yeah, and that's that's the game sometimes, though. But you you can't fault him at all. I thought he was excellent tonight. Really what do you think with the big difference between your, your group between the first and the second periods? Uh, we started to skate, and like I said, we, I thought we, we did a little bit too much watching and, and seeing how things were going to go in the first period, and then I thought we started to skate and, and compete harder in the second, third. When, when your team is coming back from games that you've done a lot of this season, like what are you doing in those games that maybe you haven't the past couple of games? I don't even know how to answer that question. It was, they were competitive tonight at the end of the game, so I, I don't, I'm not sure. We're right. happy with the way you uh, contained Sidel and McDavid. That's you know that's the other thing when you lose and you keep them off the score sheet, it's a tough one. So I, I thought uh, Michael Backlund's line did an excellent job tonight. Uh, Chris Tanev and Noah Hannafin did an excellent job tonight um, with some of the heavy lifting that they they played against McDavid's line for sure. What do you do when you, you've got a team that you know, they, they climb, they climb, they get three above yeah. 500 and then drop two? Like, what do you do to spirits up those kind of things? Um, yeah, you lose the game, you turn the page, you, you get ready for the next game that we do have coming up on Tuesday. That's what it's about. I mean, you're never going to be straight up ever. Um, the key is that you have to flatten out the peaks and valleys. So it's important for us to make sure we have a good rest day tomorrow and then we have a really good practice on Monday and then we're all prepared and ready to go for the next one. What we noticed Adam Clapp got there through some hits. We, uh, it was physical. We're, what, what did he see? From uh, Clapper? Yeah. yeah I, I thought he played well for his first game. Yeah, he made some plays on the wall too. Um, he, he looked good for his first game. What did you think of Coronado? Uh, I, I thought, I thought they, they struggled a little bit that line tonight. From the, <clears throat> the version of the Weathers you saw back at uh, the outdoor game, yeah. uh, is, is, is that a team that's giving up far less? Did, is that something you saw again tonight? Oh yeah, for sure they are. I mean, it, it, I think if you look over the last 10 games, I think they haven't given up more than two, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they are. A lot of it is the that they have the puck a fair bit. Um, but like I said, this uh, was a one where I felt like we could have a bounce here or there could have went our way too tonight.